how to add structured data to WordPress. Advanced topic. Hello and welcome. In this video session, I'm going to show you advanced methods for inserting schema markup for a typical WordPress theme. Word of caution, this is an advanced video tutorial. That means if you do not understand how the themes and template files work in WordPress content management system, or if you don't understand how PHP works, then perhaps it is smart to close this video and watch the other video tutorials I made available. So let's get right into it because I'm going to show you a lot of things here now. I'm logged into my dashboard. I can press on appearance, go to editor, and here, all my template files, depending on the theme that I'm using, is available for me to modify. But to truly mark up a typical WordPress site, it's smart to download the theme files and then modify them accordingly. So let's imagine this is my blog. I want to mark this up. Another word of warning is that I will be moving very fast and quick and you may need to pause this video session because to mark up a WordPress site, you really need to immerse yourself into the theme and the code of it as well. So at this stage, I can log into my web server as well and modify the files there as well. But I'm going to use a local copy. Let's close this. Let's close this. I've created a video for WordPress structured data examples. So perhaps you can think of this video session is an extension to that. So at this stage, we're just looking at a typical WordPress setup here, right? It's a local copy, but it's the same thing as you know. So after header.php, we can then move on to index.php because this is how WordPress content management system works. After header.php, it calls upon index.php. Depending on your theme, you may see different things here. As you can see, it gets the header function, doesn't get header function, then you'll end up seeing different things here. At this stage, what I always do is I go to the website that I want to mark up, press on F12 on my keyboard using Chrome, and I start exploring the sections. I can see here is the nav, and it's wrapped within a class container. At this stage, I can press on Ctrl U on my keyboard to bring up the source code. And then I can actually search for that class attribute to see where that menu is coming from. And then keep an eye out for these class attributes whereby I can conduct the search, search my theme to see where this class is coming from. Because that may provide additional insights for me as far as the section that I need to modify. If at all. So looking at this, you may not have Dreamweaver, but Notepad++ will do the same search function for you. Here I can see there is a container class whereby in my example, the navigation menu is coming from a Walker class. That means I need to now think of marking up my navigation differently. But as you can see, this is how you can begin to say to yourself, hmm, how can I mark up the navigation? Then I see a, a new object using the default WordPress nav menu class. So at this stage, I can think to myself, all right, since that's the case, and my theme is using a new object, I can look for that object as in search my themes folder to see which other files contains that new object for the menu links. I can see functions.php 
is actually using this it's saying if not class exists this then create class that extends walker nav menu which then suggests to me that the ul element here if i need to mark up the the navigation at this stage i have to then find this portion here this ul nav element but in my example that's for the mobile link yes and i can see here there is another ul which then contains the menu links for my website as you can see here i need to modify that ul element to include site navigation element yeah that is the ul element all uls have list elements for that reason the list um, element can have name property as in property as name so then you need to figure out where that list element is coming from from your theme files once you figure that out then you can insert item prop name to work with site navigation element as we can see moving on the the chunk where the content appears is also very important same as h1 page titles they can be labeled as item prop headline so now at this stage i need to work out where that heading one is coming from i can search for h1 within my theme or I can look at the class attribute of page title which I think in my example will be smarter for me to search where that h1 is coming from it's coming from functions.php as you can see your theme may be using page.php or single.php to blurt out heading one if that's the case then you find that h1 and modify it with headline in my example the title is coming from there but then at this stage i need to then work out where else is that coming from as you can see in my example there's a library with theme functions so that's a different functions file let's press on that now as you can see this is the complexity of truly marking up wordpress sites each theme will be different each website will be different then it is up to your knowledge about wordpress that will allow you to truly mark up your wordpress site and once you figure where that heading one is coming from then you can add item prop headline let's move on each blog post for it to be a valid blog post requires an image attribute as in item prop image but depending on your setup where is this image coming from this is a featured image working that out looking at content.php looking at singles as in single.php looking at page.php and then working out where it's coming from now what if it's not even coming from here because in my example it's coming from wp hyphen includes media.php let me search for item prop on this page And then once you work out where the image is being pulled from then you can add item prop image let's look at a sample single.php file what's in there it's pulling different page templates let's go back 
and let's look at content.php now I'm going to show you a couple of different tricks that you may be able to utilize for your WordPress setup as you can see here is where the article is coming from article content and it is actually smart for you to create HTML comments so that you can quickly see where certain codes are coming from as I have done for my own page here now I know exactly I need to look at content.php which is this one here so now I've got more conditional statements if it's single then I can utilize meta tag for bringing out headline if I want the title if I want uh, what else we can do I can use main entity of the page if it's not single do something else let's take a look yes that's the comment you can use meta item prop URL with height and so on you can insert organizational details if you're operating a business let's take a look at this sample code will be of interest to you yes the sample code that I place in here it's not even displaying this title that's to validate that H entry H atom marker now at this stage always going back and forth to structure data testing tool to see if everything is validating now let me show you different tips and tricks while here as well let's say a typical blog post word count let's go look in functions.php okay take a note of this function here because once you work here where the blog posts are being blurted from you can actually use that function to have you, you can utilize meta tag item prop word count to count the words on your blog posts I think you will find that of interest to you simply utilize this function for that okay take a note of this PHP code here with we're pulling the featured image which you will always I believe need for your setup as well I've put them in an array to provide different details URL of the featured image width and height as well which are then array array 0 first index second index third index for single posts featured image which are very important you can utilize certain parts as image object as well so what else I need to show you okay comments are important part of WordPress okay. you simply work here let's say where your comments are coming from that's the container begin comments let's take a look that's the container then I've got another div in there okay. ID with comment whereby I can search it but I can item scope it with comment now let's look at the source code for comments that's the home page that's why I can't see it control F comment what if I search for comment um, to make it easier okay now we work out where the comment div is then I can span it to say you know what there are certain number of comments comment count in my example is coming from
here. I know that looks rather silly, but that's just the way WordPress works for my theme. And yours, you just need to work out where the comment count is and then blur comment count for your comment. Let's move on. Let's see what else can I show you? Yes. Okay. Person, whoever comments, then becomes a person. So once you figure out where that is coming from, you can then extend the comment markup to include person as item scope. And then give property of name for your comment section. Let's take a look. Breadcrumbs. Yeah, breadcrumbs are important for some themes. Perhaps you're using them as well. If that's the case, you work out where your breadcrumbs are coming from. Most modern themes actually have that markup included. But if yours hasn't, then you simply follow the same procedure. As to work out where the breadcrumbs are coming from usually following the functions in index.php should reveal to you or always following the class as in div something class and then search for that class or parts of it should reveal to you where the breadcrumbs are coming from is in which template files in my example, when I conduct the search, there is something to do with breadcrumbs and so on. So, I will keep this video as it is because right now I've basically shown you how you can work around your theme regardless of how complex it may be. Some themes are very complex and you, it will require you to really dive in there and start exploring many different options so that you can mark up your WordPress site according to your setup. I thank you very much for learning with me. If you benefited from this video session, please give me a like and share this video and I'll talk with you in the next video session.